So check this out, guys. Adobe just announced generative AI tools powered by our new Adobe Firefly models are coming soon to Premiere Pro. Take a sneak peek at the object addition, object removal, and generative extend. So let's watch the video. Adobe is using the power of generative AI to deliver the most advanced and precise editing tools ever in Premiere Pro. Let's take a look at some features coming soon powered by our new Adobe Firefly video model that'll transform how editors work. One common editing challenge is finding something in a shot you need to add or replace. The object addition feature in Premiere Pro, combined with Adobe's Firefly video model, lets you add or change objects and footage with a text prompt. Make a selection, write a prompt, and add anything you can imagine. All right, that's great. These diamonds were created by the Firefly video model currently in development. And not only can you add objects, but you can easily remove them too. Object removal with AI-based smart masking makes selecting and removing objects across frames quick and precise. Here, this distracting utility box is removed with Firefly. Remove unwanted props, crew or gear, or copyrighted elements like brand logos. And with Premiere Pro, all your edits are non-destructive, so you can always get back to your original footage. When your clip is too short and you want to hold on a shot or a character for an extra beat, Generative Extend intelligently adds frames with Firefly, extending your footage, so you have the exact media you need. Like here, where we extend this shot of the woman a few frames. As we continue to innovate, we're committed to transparency through the use of content credentials. Now coming to Premiere Pro, so you always know whether AI was used in the creation of the media you're viewing. We can't wait to bring these Firefly-powered video editing workflows to Premiere Pro later this year. And there's more. We're excited to share our explorations around giving editors the choice to use models that work best with their footage. Here are some early examples of how third-party generative AI models could look within Premiere Pro. This is cool. So now they'll be able to convert Premiere to a platform and all the other large language model companies or companies that are in the domain of AI, they can just create new models so that they don't have to compete. They will just still be platform and other companies compete with each other to create like the best. This is like from Pika Lab. I like Pika, powering generative extend to make a scene flow better. From OpenAI, here's an example of their Sora model, currently in early research, generating B-roll for any scene. Through simple text prompts, Sora creates variations for you to choose from. Here's the same use case now using Runway AI's video model, generating a new video clip and adding it to the timeline in a snap and content credentials coming to Premiere Pro this year will always make transparent whether AI was used and what model was used in the creation of media. To recap, revolutionary features like object add, remove, and generative extend, powered by the new Adobe Firefly video model, are coming to Premiere Pro. And we're excited to show early research explorations with our friends at OpenAI, Runway, and Pika, so editors have the freedom to use the best model for their project. It's Adobe Premiere Pro. Super. So this looks really good, really promising. Now we will be able to do all the things that we were able to do with images, like adding objects, removing objects. I remember back in 2018 or 2019, Google had this demo that they were able to remove background subjects in their images. Now in Google Pixel 7 and 8, you can do that. So the same feature will be available for videos. One thing that is concerning me right now is that for example, if you see it right here, when they were like removing subjects or adding objects and footage right with here, a text prompt, make a selection, write a prompt really and add anything you can imagine. The frame is very still. There is not much in order to see diamond from a different angle. You need to understand the 3D ge geometry. So you need to understand how it represents in a 3D world. Sora model is really good at it. If you check out my video at uh, how good the Sora model is. It's right here, but it and it actually understand how Japan city looks like in winter or in spring 3D. There was a woman who was walking and you were able to see her from almost three, four angles. So 
the models that are going to be third party, such as Pika, Runway, OpenAI, Sora, they're going to be amazing. I think this is just a demo. For example, uh, if you check out like App Store, when Apple came out with App Store, they were, didn't show that many cool applications. Instagram, Facebook, they didn't invent that, but they just created a platform where other people can come and then they can experiment with their product. So I think they are trying to do the same thing. Premiere is just going to create a nice platform for all the other competition to compete. And in the end, we will win. And obviously Adobe will win by creating a tremendous amount of wealth for themselves, but that's fair because they created this platform. So this was the tweet and then they actually expanded upon a couple of those tweets. I think it's going to be really interesting. What kind of new tools that are more AI centric? So for example, Premiere Pro is a tool from early nineties, two thousands, you know, when we had camcorders or like smartphones or iPhones, we record and we edit it and then we can actually mask itself organize the clips in a certain way then ai came into the pic and now we can augment those tools with ai but what if we can create a tool that is ai centric so in order to create an image it doesn't actually have to start with a paintbrush you can command it and it will create the image just like dali 3. how about if i have a video for example this video i can just send it to this software and it will understand what is the trans it will understand what is the video how it is paced and based on that it will create b-rolls cuts animations edits text lower thirds all of it so that would be an amazing thing now right now this is a really great start remember G gpt 3.5 just six months after it took the world by storm and now we are using gpt gpt 4.5 is coming and within the span of two years we went from a large language model basically making predictions on what is the next word to actually writing code with it and that's just two years so imagine one year down the line how amazing these software will be imagine when we had this meme of will smith eating spaghetti how bad poor quality video that was that was text to video version one now we have sora so after two three generation down the line i think there are a lot of things that we will be able to augment with AI and it's going to increase our product. I think one more thing I want to add is that there is this book by Ray Dalio where he talks about how global market works. Eventually, the growth that we are seeing in the world comes from productivity. Imagine we have so much productivity. A lot of jobs are going to be changed, but I am very optimistic about the future. Stay tuned for the more content about AI. See you in the next video.